rookies. I'm your coach today, Sarah. This is workout number 10. Behind me we have Cindy, Kimberly, and we hope you're all staying healthy and doing well, but today we're doing core, so we're going to have lots of fun. It's going to be a quick workout, but I promise you're going to feel it. So, we're going to start off standing. You're going to move into your back. We're going to move into your tummy. Okay, so just to demo a few things. We're going to start off with an inch work. Okay, so what you're going to do, again, follow Cindy for modifications. Here, please going all out. What you're going to do is you're going to bend from the hips down to the floor. Slowly walk it out. And slowly walk it back. Okay, the idea is to keep your knees as straight as they can. So you go low impact, you walk the legs out. And slowly back in up to a plank position. Okay? Then we're going to a standing side crunch. So, you can do a hand on your head, elbow up, toe out, and you're just going to crunch to the knee and down. Side and down. If you want to hold onto a chair for balance, you can. You just do whatever you are comfortable with. Last one, we're going to do standing star. So, hands are out. You're going opposite arm, opposite toe. Get those obliques in there with that little twist. All right, so that's standing. Now we're going to move down to the back. So you're going to do a dead bug, okay? Opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice and slow. So remember to breathe. Good. Okay, straight arm, straight leg. Okay, while you're down there, leg lift. So, Hands can be under your back for support. Legs are up. You can do a slight bend of the knee if you need to. Go all the way back. You're just going down and up. Things to remember with this one is you don't want your back to arch. So if you feel like your lower back is reaching off the ground, don't go as low with those legs. Okay? So we're moving into your windshield wiper. Hands are beside you. Dropping the leg side to side. Side to side. So we're going to flip over on your stomach. You will need a towel. All right. So when you're ready, feet are flat on the ground, toes are down, your chin is looking down. What I want you to do is lift your chest like a back extension, pull that towel towards you, and slowly come back. That towel is going chest and back every time. You're going to squeeze that lower back and breathe. Okay? This is the only piece of equipment you guys need today. Isn't that awesome? So now we have planks. A couple options. You can stay on your knees. You can go elbows to knees. You can go all the way out. Or up on the hands. Things to remember. Your stomach is on. You're not arching, not going too low, nice and straight. Then we're going to do a side plank. Okay, so you're transitioning to one side. You can stack your feet or go one foot in front of the other. You can be on your elbow or up tall on your hand. So whatever you want to do. And you're going to lift your hips. Other hand can be right here. You're going to lift and hold. Okay? So, one side for 30 seconds, then the next side for 30 seconds. Okay, we're golden. All right, all right. So we're gonna do a quick warm up. Start with those shoulder rolls, crunch in place. Good job. And take it forward. And arms come up and down. Arms come up and down. We're bringing the arms back. Slowly bend it back. Chest up and take it forward. Relax the hands. Welcome down to the knees, shins, wherever you're comfortable. Awesome. Okay. Let's go from the knees in circles. Go into the hips. I think you need a poop or something. <laughs> <laughs> Core and shoulders. Good. Okay, drop one leg back. And we're doing a quick warm up today. Bring that leg through. Good job. And switch. 
just like that.
The idea with this one is your towel is right here. What I want you to do is you keep your toes on the floor. You're going to lift, push your towel out, clean that floor, pull it back to chest. Keep that back tight and breathe. Toes stay on the floor, keep putting that lower back. Remember to breathe. Eyes about three inches ahead of you. Remember to breathe that. Towel comes all the way back to your chest and up. Good job. Keep it up. Nice work. Now, if you're doing this right, you should feel the lower back. Are we feeling it, ladies? Yeah. Okay. okay. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Good job. Slowly go around. We're going right into the plank. So Cindy's going to show you the modified. Elbows and knees. Squeeze the core, engage it, support that lower back, and you're going to hold. Kimberly's showing you the higher impact version, which is on her hands. The hands are directly under the shoulders. Her waist is four foot into her feet. So you're breathing. Core is on. Abs are tight. Back is strong. Other option. You can always drop down from your hands to your elbows. Watch that back. We're not curling up, not going down, nice and straight. Your eye gaze, right on your fingers. Okay? Ten seconds. Hold on. Breathe through it, guys. You got it. Almost there. You can do it. If your abs are shaking a little bit, it's okay. You're doing it right. Five, four, three, two. You got it. All right. Let's go to the right side. We're going to do a right side plank. So, a couple options for this one. Kimberly's going to go up on her hands. You can also do an elbow. To be staying on that hip, and that's okay too. What your goal is to get your hip off the floor as much as you can. So, legs, your feet can be stacked or one in front of the other. Pick your goal. Keep that shoulder down. Lift and hold. If you want more, extend the arm and breathe. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Remember to breathe. Focus on those abs. If you feel like your hips are shooting forward, you're getting tired, pull them back. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Good job. Let's switch. <laughs> you can drop down the elbow if you want. No judgment. Other side, are you ready? Again, stack the feet side by side. See what feels best to you. Ready? Three, two, lift, and breathe. A hand is flat, give you support. Hips are underneath you, shoulders right underneath your elbow. Again, this arm up here doesn't have to be there. Stay on your hip. Hold on, 10 seconds. Whew. Five, four, Three, two, you got it. Good job. Way to go. That's round one. One more to go. Mm -hmm. Quick shake, grab a drink. Same thing. How are you doing? Good. 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 There you go. Yeah. That's all the hands are hard, right? I know. <laughs> all the shoulders. Yep. Okay, let's go again. Inch more. Ready? So, you know the options. You start when you're comfortable. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Drop those hands down, walk them out. You can add that push up or stay. Walk back up on those toes. All the way up. Let's go. Breathe as you walk out. And up. Good job. So you doing that modified one on the chair. Walking those feet out. As you walk in, going up to that tight position. Good. Awesome job. So we're going all the way down the floor. See that push up. There you go. Push it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Standing crunch. Let's do the left side. So, elbow up, toe up. Let's go. So, you can go fast or slow. If you want to hold on to the chair for balance, you want to squeeze that core. Keep that hand there. You have those muscles working. When you put that foot down, it's the toe tap. Not much weight. Really working your balance here too. Five, four, three, two. Nice job. Switch sides. When you're ready, do it. Up and down. You got this. Core is a reason. 
favorite. We love it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> nice job. Squeeze that side. Good job. Ten seconds. Finish it strong. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Dead bones. I'm sorry. Stay strong. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you, guys. All right. So arms up. Toes. Fingers. Get some of those obliques in too. Good job. Have a fast movement. You're twisting. Right, so we go to the side. Watch your reach both toes. The abs are on. Use those obliques to turn and twist. So you can lower and tap your shoulder with the knee. That's absolutely fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do this. Come on down to the floor. All right. So you do that modified one. Ready? Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Really important to breathe. Abs are on. Support that lower back. Good job. Now you don't have to go low. That puts that's uncomfortable on your back. You do what you can. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Leg lifts. Hands are behind you, underneath you, to give you that support. Legs are up. Again, you can use that slight bend in the knee or go all the way straight. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep that knee bent. If you need a bend, that's fine. So let that back arch. Breathe. Again, the lower you go, the harder it's going to be. So you challenge yourself. See what you can do. Hold on. Good job. Side plank. Pull it over to one side. 
Again, the object is to lift those hips and hold. You're going to stack your hips on top. So when you're ready, you can be on top of each other or side to side, whatever you're comfortable with. Ready, ladies? Let's do it. Five, four, three, come on. Good. So scoop is on your knees, hips are off the ground. Good job. Remember to breathe. Keep that shoulder supported. Okay, we're looking at the hand. How are we doing? Hang on, hang on, breathe through. You see, you're breathing a little hard, that's okay. I want you to breathe as you do this. You do not want to lose your breath, okay? You got 10 seconds, finish strong. You can do this. Breathe, don't let that posture go. Hips are in line. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, good job. Switch to the other side, last 30 seconds. All right. Last 30 seconds, make it count. Ready? Let's do it. You got this. So you don't want your hips to go out. Brian, you want to see nice and stacked, nice and controlled. Squeeze your core. Back in the line. See how straight they are? Good job. If you need to take a break and drop down to the other option, that's totally fine. If you need to get started, you go down to our elbows. Totally fine. 10 seconds. You got this. Shaking is okay. I promise. You're fine. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two. You're done. Oh, good job. Man, that's Woo -hoo. Man. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys. Way to finish. Let's do a little cool down. And then I have some mental health education I want to give you guys. Okay, so we've worked our physical. Now we're going to work our mental. Okay, so roll them back. And take it forward. Good. Let that heart come down. Arm side to side. Give yourself a hug. Good job. Give me a little twist. Way to go. So I'm going to grab one thing while I'm walking away. Why do we exercise? Because you might need to exercise. What's the benefit? Especially at the end of my day, it lets me get rid of everything that's gone on through the day. So if you've had a rough day, what's the best thing you can do for yourself? Exercise. Um, what's another added bonus? What's it do for you? Just feels good. Feel better. Your endorphins are released. Rocky. Absolutely. These girls are rock stars. They did it. Feel strong. <laughs> yeah. Um, not to mention, it's going to also lower your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, lower your stress, um, hopefully lower your numbers of your diabetic, things like that. All good things. Um, the article I'm pulling is an article about the COVID-19 pandemic that we're dealing with right now and how exercise can actually help decrease not only your risk of getting it, but also decrease how bad it can be for you. So the article goes on to say that each amount of exercise is going to increase your, um, your ability to fight off the disease if you get it. Not saying when you have it, um, but it'll also help you prevent getting it. So the more active you can be, the more healthy you can be, it's going to stimulate the um, cell production that's going to help you fight off the disease, okay? So if you can do 15 minutes, 20 minutes of exercise, three to five days a week, that's awesome. It's going to help you stay healthy and feel better. So that's your little tip. Um, this is from the American College Sports Medicine Journal. It's from Richard J. Simpson, he's a PhD, and I highly encourage you guys to look at it. It's called Exercise Immunity and the COVID-19 Pandemic. So it's a great read. If you have any questions about exercise and how it can help you, make sure you read that, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Hope you have a great week, and see you next time.